this is Dundalk Bay and we're still near Anagasin and Dundalk Bay is one of the largest, if not the largest, razor clam fishing areas off the Irish coast. Hello, and this is Trish again and Heather Fleming from Massachusetts. And we are in um, a place called Salter's Town in Ireland, which is very close to the fishing village of Anagasin. And we're going to talk today about one of the food elements that we're both very, um, are we OCD? Yeah, a little we're OCD. bit, a little bit. <laughs> um, and it's salt. And we just were uh, lucky enough to get an appointment to go see Terry and Martina Butterley, who own a salmon smoking um, business in the village. And it's been um, a great time. So I'm going to show you some uh, clips from Terry talking to us about um, how he gets the best smoked salmon he possibly can for his uh, wonderful restaurant customers all over the country here. Good day, good day, good day. And Cecile, what is good about it? So I think the main thing, Terry, that we wanted to ask you and or Martina chip in at will is you're the experts and you're the ones that go the, the extra mile with making your fish like the very best that you can be. What do you think, what for you is, what do you aspire to, to do? Is it the actual fish? fish? Oh, well, the, the, the initial product, like, you know, has to be right, like, you know. And is it the fat content or what is it about the actual? Um, it's, there's, at different times of the year, the fat content is different content is different and you have to learn to handle the heavy fat content and you have to learn to handle the light fat content. Right. It all depends on the time of the year. You just have to adapt, like, you know, your, your technique to suit the fish, like, you know. Wow, and what, I mean, and, see, and sorry, and also, go ahead. There's, there's different grades. Yeah. Different grades of fish? Yeah, yeah there's different um, grades of salmon, like, you know, there's, there's superior go ahead, ordinary go ahead, and production grade one, two, and three. We never use anything, only superior grade salmon. Right. So you, you just, this fire away Superior. Yeah. If superior, and you know where if, that's coming if from. Superior, if superior is not in the box, it goes back. Oh, good it man, Terry. And and, and they, you, your fish come from the pharaohs. Yes, isn't that's that right? what we're buying at the moment is from the pharaoh. Yeah, I remember you saying that to me before. And um, the other thing that we were fascinated with, or we were, myself and Heather were talking last night, was um, you know the way when you're curing the, um, the fish? Yeah. Does do you are there different salts or is it no uh, you just produce a high quality salt now it's it's, it's it, there are different salts like we we've done the, the thing in portugal on the different types of salt oh you know, like you know but you couldn't put blue, what they call blue salt like you know the top grade salt into our product because it'll make it too expensive right it's, we've been talking about Wine and food, wine and food. Heather and I have been talking about wine and food together for 20 years. And we both um, work using the Zing thing sort of principles or ideas that there are six elements in wine that are either compromised or complemented by food. And similarly in food, there are eight elements that are either compromised or complemented by interaction with wine. And of course, we like the complemented part best. Correct, yes. Right. <laughs> So, what were you, you wanted to ask me something? So, thinking of the smoked salmon, I was thinking that with the smoke and the salt, champagne would be absolutely a fabulous. And that's that's really cool because you know champagne, the two elements in champagne that really help you with the the salt and umami are the two dominant elements in smoked salmon. Mm -hmm. And so, with champagne or sparkling wine, good sparkling wine, you have um, the two wine elements that work with salt and umami are high acid and fruitiness 
And fruitiness is really interesting in sparkling wine because we discovered that in fact there are those little bubbles in the sparkling wine, they're not empty. There are fruit, volatile fl fruit acids ah, inside of the bubbles as well. So it's adding to the whole experience. So that's why high salt, high umami or focused salt and umami in foods like that amazing smoked salmon and perhaps caviar. Yeah, you heard about champagne and caviar. But the other thing that rocks with uh, sparkling wine that's high in salt and umami as well is crispy fried cod, hot dog, fish and chips. Fish and chips. Absolutely. So you can eat like a prince and have a zing like a prince with fish and chips and a glass of champagne. There you go.